Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Uh, today I thought I'd talk about four uh, cattle hair whorls that you should look for um, on your cows and kind of what they indicate and uh, uh, how you can use that to tell you uh, if, it, if the cow is going to be effective or, or for that matter a bull. Uh, the first one that we're going to talk about here is called the adrenal whorl. The adrenal whorl is located right on the back, um, usually uh, around the shoulder blade era area as you can see here's your shoulder blade we go all the way up there's the adrenal whorl right there um, I have had some cows that have it a little further back and I also have some cows that have it a little further up um, this uh, adrenal whorl what you want to look for in the adrenal whorl um, nice tight spiral as you can see she's got a nice tight spiral uh, that means when she was in utero, utero she developed uh, really well um, and what this kind of talks tells us uh, this story here nice tight spiral um, is that her endocrine system is working uh, she's got a good endocrine system uh, one way that you can look for uh, she's a little bit harder um, to see um, but in the summertime they secrete an oil um, out of this uh, out of this one and what that does is then uh, uh, gives like a red color on their body on their back and what that that says is that that is functioning usually that Dieter's uh, that Dieter's uh, bugs especially flies and so forth um, the next whirl if she looks straight ahead here the next whirl um, that they have is the thymic whirl okay and this will be located on their neck um, as you can see, she's got a little whirl right there. Yep, got you, girl. Um, that thymic whirl uh, indicates immune system. How good is the immune system? Um, you can kind of see how it's a, a generally large area. Um, she's got multiple ones. She's got one right there, a whirl, and then she's got one right there. Um, again, you want nice tight spirals in that. Um, and then also here, uh, this this uh, this uh, whorl secretes oil as well, and that is uh, uh, usually a really sheeny look. It gives her a, a nice uh, uh, sheen to her coat, and so that's the the thymic whorl, and that's located typically on their neck. Now the next one that we'll be doing is called the pancreatic whorl. Let's see if she lets me get down here. Um, now this is a tight whorl. Usually, uh, you can see them. Um, on their belly when they've been pregnant um, and hers is right here it's kind of hard to see but her whirl kind of see if I can get a better look here um, I don't know if I can pull it back and you can kind of see it whirl around right in there um, that whirl is a pancreatic whirl that determines uh, fertility um, and how how good she's going to be in, in uh, the retrospects of fertility The fourth whirl that you got is right on the face um, It's called the penal whirl and you can see that whirl uh, right below her right eye um, Wait for her to spin around here so you can kind of get a good look at it Come here girl there's a good one and it's right right there and that penal whorl um, actually tells a lot about um, about her uh, usually Temple Grandin did a, a study on cows and where that whorl is located and and uh, docility and and also fertility um, on her you can see it's below her eyes uh, this is her daughter from last year you can kind of see hers right there um, you want it uh, below uh, even with the eyes or below now the higher up that that whirl's going to go the the more uh, the more skittish that they're going to be um, now her daughter here uh, we can kind of see it's kind of like linear there's really no spiral to that um, and one thing you really want to look for in those whorls is tight spirals that's what you want that means that, uh, when they were in when they were in utero they had really good uh, development um, and that's kind of what you want to look for on your cows as far as the cattle whorls and, and um, 
kind of tells you the story about who they are and and kind of what the, uh, these these whorls uh, uh, I use just recently actually started using to kind of give me an idea on uh, the cow herself as she develops the calf I can look at the the whorl and kind of give me a good determination on um, on if I should keep the calf uh, to breed or if I should uh, hold off and and sell her at the sale barn now it's not an end-all be-all type of uh, idea I mean you can have a cow that doesn't really have a, a good world to her but she produces uh, good calves um, she's not really high maintenance but it's just one not, one thing that you can use to help you decide uh, just in case that maybe you have two cows uh, two calves that are, are equally just as good. Look for those whorls. Those whorls are going to tell you um, a little bit about her. You can really see that, that hair whorl that she's got right there on her thymic whorl um, right on her neck. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier to find the whorls. Uh, obviously during summer when their hair coat is shorter, um, you'll definitely really be able to see that. And, and also on the thymic whorl and then the adrenal whorl that's located on the top here. Um, those are the two worlds you want to see uh, for um, oil release, uh, uh, her releasing oil through those those worlds because those are going to uh, tell you that she's got good um, hormone fu function as well. Um, so those are the, the four worlds that I wanted to go over today. Um, I will be doing a video on my bowl here to kind of show you some uh, things to look for uh, on your bowl. Same idea with the whorls, you still look for those, but so, there's some other things that you should look for as well. So I hope you guys take what, what, uh, what's been presented today, use it in your own uh, operation um, to kind of determine which cows is, is best to keep and, and which ones uh, kind of need to go. Or uh, Until next time, happy farming. Thanks.